second down, the offense gets ready to rock. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Vic on second down, fighting through. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he'll be out of bounds, getting it across the 25. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. They go play action here on first down. Well, there's that man again. It's complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a second down throw for Vic. Forced out to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Melvin Ingram in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Escaping the pressure right. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Back to throw. Looking left side, he's got a man. It's Graham. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's back to throw. The quick slant caught. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Second and goal from the one. Throwing Vic. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So with next to nothing left on the clock, they get Charles what should be the game-winning touchdown catch. That felt so much like practice and preparation coming together. So many times your last practice of the week, you score the game-winning touchdown. Everyone leaves the field feeling good about themselves. They got it done for real in this situation. Jackson now to return. Now on the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. Charles, in this one, I think the story... Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.